Now then, I've just recently got one of those smart hub homey things where you sit on your couch and you can shout stuff. Turn on the lights! <laughs> very nice. But it ain't very exciting, is it? I've had some ideas. Yes, we need to make some extra devices for this thing to control. So, tackling today, getting you out of bed. Now, I do have an ejector bed. <laughs> So, you know, I could get it to control that. But I'm thinking more for my son. Can't put him in the injector bed. It will splatter him against the wall. So, going to make a little shaky system so I can shout, Oi, get my son out of bed. And his bed goes, Whoa! Right, better go measure his bed. Get cracking. Oh, this is a fantastic attack on that. Bit of a mess of that bit. <laughs> Keep it tidy. Right, so this board's going to sit in where the mattress goes in, and then I've got this angled gearbox thingy. I'm going to fix that to the base, then there'll be a drill or a motor or something turning that. Shaft goes in the top, like so, and then there's going to be like an offset cam, so when the motor spins up, the top of the bed will go like this, move around. And depending on how fast, depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> You're running out of love. You're doing way too much. You're getting out of touch. You do it all the time. I think you've got some love. Got my little gearbox made, put a cordless drill on it for the time being, but I think it's going to want a mains powered one because cordless ones don't spin quite as fast. Next job, the bit of board that the mattress sits on needs mounting and that needs to be able to move freely. So we need a bearing, we've got one of these little things up, these little roller bearings. Sit that on there. I'm sat on the floor in there because it's quite hard to get me and all this in shot with me sitting up, so I'm kind of half laid down. But you don't need to know that. Don't need to know it. I've had a bit of change of heart. I was looking at the bits of wood in the wood shop and I'm like, they're all twisted. I've got to screw them together. I don't like it. So I've, I've gone for aluminium. Right, I shall weld them together. Could do a big shed really, but I'm not going to get one. I refuse. Now there's probably some welders out there looking at all the marks and stuff around it going, you got the wrong gas, you got the wrong filler rod. I don't care! <laughs> It'll stick it together. It's only for a shaking bed. It's not like it's holding a spaceship together. Spaceship! Spaceship! I like it! It was a good decision first, a good decision. Brilliant, right then, next job, fix this top board to my spinny motor. I need your voice to tell me that I'm gonna be just fine. So I'm latching on to a distant screen from 1999. Get the feeling that this is not very sharp. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a riveting bit of footage, Kai. This is absolutely excitement and at its peak. Oh, I think there's a there's another ten thousand subs coming your way. <laughs> I mean, look! Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh! Ah. Oh! Yeah!
Look at that. Right, what's it gonna do? <laughs> Interesting. Of course, we need to stop it spinning, Colin. Right, that works well, but I don't want to use a cordless drill, I want to use a mains one. And no expense has been spared. $17.99! Let's chuck this in there. Mains powered. Here we go. We don't make the sleep through that. <laughs> Not sure as the drill is gonna cope with this. It's uh it's smoking away. Okay, this is the plan. I have doubled the drill budget from $17.99 to £40! Still rubbish ones, but they are. Right, I'm going to swap this over, hopefully, because this one's a 1,000 watt, that one's only 500. This one should cope better with the struggle, which it clearly is what turning this bed is a power thing job to do. So, that's what we're going to do. And hopefully, it won't set fire to the bed. Mechanically, that is done, that is brilliant. Next up, electronics. Relays, a little circuit board which will talk to the smart home thingy, uh, and then give it a paint job, and then it's ready to program, and then stick it on my son's bed for real, see what he thinks of it. Right, electrics, paint. It's all finished, electronics all in. I've even put a little LED strip look around the outside. Now, next job is software. When it comes to programming Arduinos and whatnot, I have reached some dizzying heights. <laughs> it's blinking. But this is a little more complex than that. So I've got the master of electronics involved. We got Mr. James Bruton. <laughs> Hello. Now he's like the software computing genius. If you want to go and check out his channel, see what I'm on about, there's links in the description. And at the end, so, I need to get this to talk to the smart home thing. I've tried welding it, it doesn't work. This is the person to sort that out. Right, let's get on with it. Two relays, one for the LEDs, one for the drill. And it... He done it. He done it. You shout at it, and it does it. Turn on the wake up machine. Okay. We live in the future. Let's give it a test. Turn on the bed shaker. Okay. Yeah. You get this in a hotel, couldn't you? Yes, that worked, didn't it? Voice activated, bed shaking, waking up system. Now, if you want to see how James did the code and connected it all up, he's done a little video up here. Before I test this properly on my son, I want to make something else. Something a little bit more extreme. Now, when that's available uploaded, that'll be in the top box. But until then, we've got two other wonderful options for you to select from. Righty-ho, subscribe, click notifications, share the video, do all the social media nonsense. Rah!